Welcome back to In the Can. We're going to be talking about the film The Son of No One and a fami familiar face around here, you've been in here before, is yeah. Ditto Montiel. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, I recognize the face and then I, I realized we have a picture of you on our wall. Hanging out right over there. Very cool. You were back here in 2006, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And it was, um, it was a, a guy to recognizing his Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah. I'm like, it's on the tip of my tongue. Yep. Yeah, I remember us, yeah. that because we, I got to sit down and talk with you. Yep. So welcome back. Yeah. Thanks, man. How you Veteran. Doing? Hey, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Are the nerves the same when it's the second time oh, around? Yeah, completely. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Nothing, it's a whole new project, right. a whole new Terrifying set of nerves. Terrifying all over again, yeah. And Hell. your your premieres tonight. tonight. So talk about nerves escalating today, right? Oh, well, I'm kind of excited to see it with people. I yeah. get nervous until that happens, because then it's like blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Know, so. And then when you're sitting there, you can Then just, it's like, okay. You've released it. It is what it is. Oh, I love it, yeah. Well, um, your second time here, this is the second film about New York. It's set in New York, right? It's set there, so, yeah. is this something that we're going to see? Like, you know, a lot of directors talk about really loving to tell the story of their community. We've right. talked with a lot of directors about this. Is that how you feel about New York? No. no. <laughs> I mean, I love New York, of yeah. course. You know, I mean, I grew up there in Queens. Yeah. You know, um, I, I just tell a story, and it, I, you know, I, I know the names of the streets where I grew up, so I always uh -huh. put that in the script, and I end up back there. You know. Right. But it's it's you know I always the story of, of you know somebody in Ames, Iowa, for all mm -hmm. I know. You know, I mean, I, I love Cinema Paradiso. I don't know that town. Mm -hmm. You know, so as long as you could relate to it, you know. Yeah. So give us an overview of what this film's about. Well, it's about uh, two kids who kill two people and, and get away with it and um, how they deal with it as adults, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, you can be okay or, or something. It could be rough, you know. So it's a little bit of that. And there's a mystery, you know, all kinds of weird stuff going on, you know. Well, I, I know another, you know, theme that we've talked a lot about here on the show is that a lot of times these thrillers, and there's quite a few here in the festival, mm -hmm. a lot of murder this year for some reason. There's always a lot of murder. Yeah. Always a lot of murder. Can't get away from And, it. you know, they're always talking about how the murder is part of the story, but it's really how, you know, people are dealing with it or the relationships around that setting. Yeah. And this seems like one of those films where it's really exploring the consequences of something that horrific happening and, and how the human element mixes in with all of that. Was that a hard story to tell? I mean, how do you how do you go from this thriller and then really get into the really deep personal story of, of the characters? Yeah, well, you know, for me, it started out as as a story of two people. I, I grew up in, in the Ravenswood projects with these guys, and uh, and um, we used to call White John and, and Black Vinny, and they were always <laughs> together. And, uh, and, and, and there was a guy named Hanky who got killed, and I remember nobody cared, you know? It was mm -hmm. just a weird thing how, you know, there's little pockets everywhere that sort of like Things can happen and no one seems to care. So that sort of mm. stuck with me. So just tried to uh, to write about it, you know. And then mm -hmm. uh, and so so yeah, it, it's always tricky because I, I like you know junk, you know. I like the pop thriller junk, you know, like like <laughs> the junk. scary letters coming in, you know. So I try <laughs> to sneak that in with with a movie that uh, that I could love, you know. Mm -hmm. So so uh, so I, I think we kind of did it, you know. I mean, uh, how long did it take you to write this? Oh, I don't know. You just start messing around on napkins and on paper and then weird things, and then it starts to grow. So, oh, you know, while we were making movies, the you last movie, on you, know, on the you just mess around, and then like, oh, wow, I think, I think it's starting to look like it might be a movie, you know? You, you make it sound so easy. We're just messing oh, no, around, writing no. on napkins. Well, no, 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 but I mean, I it's write just... a lot of things on napkins, and they're not worthy of being in the yeah. Sundance Film oh, Festival. Oh, yeah, well, so. me too. <laughs> a lot of that is in the garbage, too, you know? But it, it's just, you just collect things, and, you, yeah. you know, if you really feel something, it, it just sort of jumps out, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, it's not easy. Of course yeah. not, you know. Yeah. I mean, some of it is, but, you know. Well, and I, and I read that, I mean, you've got an amazing cast. Super, yeah. And yet, this film is very much independent. What is it about independent film that inspires you? Oh, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's just nice. I mean, the struggle, if, if there is, you know, I mean, listen, you know, it, it's all, whenever you're making a movie, you're talking about a million dollars, usually, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and that's a lot of money. I don't care, you know. Hollywood wants to make a... Three million dollars sound like nothing anymore. Five right. million dollars—it's still a lot of money. Go to a bank and ask for a million dollars for a crazy idea, and good yeah. luck, you know. <laughs> so independent is 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 just whatever. You know, you go, you make a movie, you you ask some people to come down, and 
you get your friends to make some food, and, and, and something beautiful can happen, you know? So uh, I, I believe in it. You know, it sounds weird, but I do, you know? So that's, really that's why cool. I'm here. Yeah. I've never really heard that explanation. Yeah, but, me either. Know. I don't even know what I said, to be honest. But. <laughs> well, no, it sounded good because it's okay. true, you know? Um, you can throw a lot of money towards something, but it doesn't mean it's good. No, and, for sure. And when you've got a good story, that's the point. I mean, I, good I, storytelling I it. Is, yeah. is the point. So um, are you working on other things right now, or are you scribbling on other napkins Always. as we speak? Hey, man, that's what I do. I yeah. had a, I, I I heard your commercial for that sub place. I had a uh, meatball oh, yeah. hero there, and I was writing on their junk. But, you know, you just mess around. You I know? love so, it. You yeah. better be collecting all of the yeah, napkins. Of They'll be worth something someday. Piles. Right? Dollars. That's really cool. Yeah. So, um, you know, working with this cast, kind of tell me how it was directing and, and introduce your cast. Yeah. I don't have the lineup oh, in front yeah. of me. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you know, um, Channing Tatum plays uh, Jonathan White, who, White John, you know, mm -hmm. and... Uh, you know, I don't know. We we kind of know each other now. I, yeah. I'm I'm a giant fan. Mm -hmm. He's he's great. You know. I and mean, he was game from jumping in. Yeah, and man. You know, working he's, on he's, independent he's like, film. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, you know, I mean, he wants to make great stuff. You uh -huh. know. So I don't think it matters if it's independent or not. If it's great, yeah. it, you know, if you think you could do something good. He's inspired then, by the work. Yeah. yeah. So he he was he's great in it. And um, Katie Holmes plays Mrs. White, Carrie White, um, and uh, she's just. Incredible. I mean, you know, I sound like a cornball director here saying everybody's great, but believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm a big mouth. I would say someone was horrible if they weren't. She's freaking great. <laughs> we get the dish. You'd you get the dish from me. Like it is. For sure. I'll tell you who the devils are, but <laughs> she's great. And then uh, and Al Pacino plays um, Stanford, who, who sort of is a guy who dances at a, at a two different times. And I mean, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you heard of that Can't guy, say right? No, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm the biggest fan on earth. It's crazy. And, uh, and he was just unreal, you know, and great. And Ray Liotta's the best, and, and I, I mean, I love Ray. I mean, they shot Goodfellas in the block I grew up on, so I've been oh, obsessed forever. that's great, and, yeah. uh, so, and he's just great and, and crazy, you know. And um, Julia Pinoche plays um, a reporter, and, uh, you know, uh, gosh, I mean, I can go on forever. Yeah, uh, Tracy Morgan plays, plays Vinny. Um, Unbelievable who, cast yeah, you've trippy. got. Yeah, it's crazy. So wonderful. Yeah. Well, good luck. Geronimo, um, Lemon is here. They're all here. They're all yeah, here to yeah, support you. That's great. So tonight we'll be at... Uh, at the Eccles? At the Eccles. Big venue, so big Super crowd big. expected. Come on down, sneak in if you have to. That's right. All well, right. thank you for coming again. We'll cool. see you next time. Okay. All right, Thanks take care. Take we'll be back with more In the Can right after this.